in particular focused in on this question. What's distinctive in India from what they have said that explains why ICICI has quintupled, or I think it's about 7x over a decade its revenue. Here are the four themes that emerged. We found that, that uh, to a person, these Indian executives said, hugely important to them is developing their human assets. Our phrase for that, a holistic engagement with employees. People working for them are an asset, not a cost to be cut, many ways to put that. Number two, uh, partly because of the difficult conditions, sometimes the rather challenging experiences have people in India have of getting power every day, all these famous infrastructural problems, not to mention what used to be called the license raj, a kind of a bureaucratic nightmare. Indian executives did, in contrast to American equivalents, place a huge premium on being clever, adaptable, able to improvise. It's, all as, it's as if they all came off the stage of Second City in Chicago, improvisational theater, management analog. Number three, creative value propositions. So many of these companies have found value in places where <laughs> we would tend never to see it. Most famously expressed in the Tata Nano, a new car, it's on the road, $2,500. Who can do that? Tata has done that. Finally, I'm gonna end on this. Especially contrasting with what we've seen in the US in the last uh, 20 months, and maybe especially in financial services, everybody kind of ducking for cover, focused on the welfare of their firm, no surprise about that. The Indian managers just it came through in so many different ways, saw their place on earth, delivering great value to their families, many are family controlled enterprise, great wealth to themselves, that's why we have the Ambani room just down uh, the stairs here, but uh, equally focusing on the community, giving back, involving the companies in community development, and ultimately building a better country.